If you're looking for the best walking shoes for men here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 8th position of our list, we have SAS Timeout. For walking these are the best shoes since the discovery of water and vastly ahead of sliced bread. They are the best walking shoes for men by some distance if the price is not the main deciding factor. Handmade in the US to exacting standards by a company that makes exceedingly good shoes and has a care for its customers. They are the best walking shoes for men with wide or narrow feet, and the best shoes for seniors, pricing aside, but for most price is a deciding point so other shoes take the prize in those categories. Comfort and cushioning are at the top of the list for these shoes. Plush high-quality padding is stitched into the soft, supple leather uppers around the collar of the shoe to provide a classy rim of comfort for your ankles and Achilles. An excellent lacing system is protected from your instep by a softly padded tongue which is gusseted to stop dirt getting in so easily and to keep the tongue properly positioned. The excellent midsole provides a slightly springy, soft step that still manages to give great support to your arches, unless you have really high arches. A huge range of sizes and width fittings caters to everyone. The fit is enhanced with a well-thought-through lacing system that provides plenty of options to secure the shoe to your foot and maintain positioning. Metal eyelets to the central section of the lacing opening allow the laces to slide through for easy adjustment when taking the shoe on and off, whereas the top and bottom eyelets provide enough friction to keep everything in place. Brilliant! The timeout is a class shoe that is made to exacting standards using high-quality materials. Good design and plenty of room in the shoe makes it a great choice for seniors with a suitable budget. They are the best in class and are versatile in design, so you can wear them casually as well as for walking exercise. The best walking shoe for men in my book if you can afford them. Next at number 7 we have Saucony Echelon 7. The Saucony Echelon 7 is a shoe made for the flat-footed as well as supinators. I know most flat-footed people overpronate but there is a sizable number of people who are flat-footed and yet supinate. The arch support in these shoes gives great support under your feet thanks mainly to the provided orthotic which is substantial and effective. Cushioning comes from a combination of the provided insole, as well as the midsole constructed of Evren Trademark which is a responsive foam developed to provide a soft cushioned feel. The contribution from the insole is more cushion and support. The upper is constructed of engineered mesh which provides targeted flexibility that enables the shoe to give lateral support in strategic places and flexibility to fit your foot shape. It achieves this by variations in the knit pattern which makes the material more flexible or less flexible according to the knit pattern in each particular place. There is plenty of cushioning around the collar and the Achilles as well as to the shoe tongue too. The shoe is available in medium to extra wide fittings and so can fit the feet of most people. The supportive insole provided is excellent and thicker than most insoles provided with athletic shoes. The toe box and shoe last generally is quite roomy too so making the shoe perfect if you need to wear orthotics. Just remove the already thicker than normal insole provided and slip in your own, you'll hardly notice the difference in space around your foot. An excellent choice if you are flat-footed or like a little extra support under your arch and especially if you are a supinator. The shoe is flexible in the forefoot and allows your toes to spread out and do their job. Plenty of size options, as well as overall comfort, makes this shoe very competitive in its price range with other, perhaps more widely marketed, shoe brands. The number 6 position is held by Saucony Omni Walker. The Saucony Men's Grid Omni Walker has been around for a long time. It is priced at the lower end of the scale for athletic walking shoes, providing the most essential basic features needed for a comfortable stability shoe. The Omni Walker gives great value for money for slight overpronators and walkers with neutral gates and in its price range one of the best walking sneakers for men. 
This stability shoe is moderately cushioned to a degree that allows it to fulfill its role in helping to counter moderate overpronation. Given that pronation means the tendency for the foot to roll inwards as you transition through your stride. The nature of cushioning is to give way under pressure and so must be limited, at least underfoot, for the shoe to resist foot roll. If you have a neutral gait the motion control feature will not hurt, but then you could be looking for a shoe with more cushioning. The shoe is comfortable and the cushioning good for the type and design of the shoe. There is good cushioning around the ankles and the back of the heel, Achilles, as well as under the tongue beneath the laces. Overall comfort and cushioning are better than average for a stability shoe. These shoes come up true to size for most people with an ample range of sizes in length as well as a wide width fitting. Sizing should not be a problem unless you are a guy with very narrow or very wide feet. Support to your foot arch is ample with higher durometer rubber used under the midfoot which you can see when looking at the shoe side on. The EVA foam sole is harder than most which is a cheaper way of providing torsional resistance than rigid bars built into the midsole which are used by more expensive shoes. The sole is designed to reduce pronation with impact protection coming from a mix of three different materials to absorb shock and provide stability and comfort. It is a good stable shoe with gait alignment assisted by the design of the outsole marketed as WalkTrack trademark. If you want to learn more head over to my full review of the shoe. If you are an overpronator then you might also like our roundup of shoes made to help counter the effects of overpronation. For a shoe that is at the budget end of the scale, the leather uppers and durable materials used for the sole and midsole make it a great value for money walking shoe. The design is a little staid, and it only comes in black or white, but if you are not fussed about the best of the best technology then it provides a good solid shoe for the money. It is an especially good buy for moderate overpronators who will appreciate the stability features. The number 5 position is dominated by Hoka 11 Bondi 6. One of the most cushioned men's sneakers on the market and definitely the most cushioned walking shoe for men readily available. The shoe is flexible and the plush cushioning makes the shoes feel light and airy and will put a soft spring in any one step. An excellent shoe from this up and coming shoe manufacturer. Cushioning is the absolute design focus of the shoe and there is no doubt it provides it by the bucket load. Although marketed as a running shoe, it is really not best suited to running, while not running fast anyway, and is much better suited to walking or jogging. This is a neutral shoe that is not particularly heavy given the high cushioning provided. Comfort is maxed out in this shoe as well, partly because of all that cushioning and partly from the many other design features. The upper is breathable engineered mesh to provide a little lateral stability whilst keeping your feet cool and dry. The sole is slightly rocker shaped which helps the natural motion of your foot as you walk and the full length EVA midsole provides shock absorbance and support. If comfort and cushioning is your main priority, and you do not need motion control features then this shoe will be a good match. The Bondi 6 does give support to your foot arches, but to be honest the level is no better than average. The insoles are removable so you can fit orthotics if need be. The heel section is framed to better position and support your heels, and there is an internal heel counter to give the shoe some stability. In fact, the wider sole provides a lot of stability without reducing flexibility which is a benefit to overpronators as well. The shoe comes in several width fittings but is not for the widest feet. The lacing system is good though so there is some flexibility to match various foot shapes. The white color is not available in a wide fitting but other colors are. Definitely the winner of most cushioned walking shoe for men and a favorite shoe of mine for regular walking. I would not use it on the trail or in wet conditions, but then that applies to almost all of the shoes in this list. For a cushioned and comfortable shoe that is breathable, the Hoka Bondi 6 is a great choice. It is a shame they do not extend their width fittings a little more. Moving on to the next at number 4 with New Balance 928 V3 for men. A walking shoe for men that comes in the full range of width fittings from narrow right the way through to extra extra wide. This excellent shoe for overpronators will suit seniors too since your feet get wider as you get older and arches tend to flatten. 
Good cushioning, good support and good quality materials throughout make this sporty looking sneaker a great option for you if you walk a lot. The New Balance 928 V3 is a motion control shoe which has features of specific benefit to overpronators and so cushioning must be carefully designed not to allow too much inward roll of the foot which would defeat the object. There is an anti-roll bar built into the midsole which helps your foot to reduce the amount of inward roll by stiffening the shoe against torsional flex. Comfort is not all about cushioning though, and the 928 V3 does a good job of maximizing comfort whilst still retaining the design aims of countering overpronation. There is ample cushioning around the shoe collar and in the tongue to distribute any pressure coming from tight laces. The shoe has a quality midsole, marketed as Absorb Trademark, which provides good shock protection and also comfort from the soft spring it gives to add responsiveness. This makes the shoe comfortable overall and one of the most comfortable motion control shoes out there. The suede uppers are more comfortable than the leather, but do need a little more care and attention. Beautiful always seems to mean higher maintenance, don't tell Jenna I said that. A huge range of sizes are available in this model in length as well as width fittings, so finding a fit for your individual foot should be no problem. The supplied insole is fairly typical for the upper end of the athletic shoe market, providing quite good support, but also removable to allow for individual orthotics to be fitted in their place if you need more support. If it is intended to install custom orthotics then you should consider getting a slightly wider fit than normal and possibly a half size longer to allow a bit more room once the thicker custom orthotics are fitted. The shoe has a good full lacing system which allows you to adjust the laces to ensure great, stable foot positioning and use. If you need one of the best motion control shoes then it is a choice between the Brooks Addiction Walker or the New Balance 928 V3. If you are doing a comparison the 928 V3 is the more comfortable by a small margin and looks a bit more up to date. The Brooks Addiction Walker has better support as supplied, is a little more durable, and is a little roomier in places that make it a better choice for swapping out for custom orthotics. Pricing is about the same so it is a toss-up as to which feels better really. The 928 V3 is a quality shoe that looks good and feels good and should be on your hit list if you are an overpronator or a senior, though the Brooks just beats it for seniors or need a wider or nar. The number 3 position is held by Skechers Equalizer 3.0. Skechers are famous for their memory foam shoes. If you want some info on the material and the good and bad in detail then check out our post on memory foam here. For comfort, memory foam is superbly soft and cushioning and sort of melds into your foot shape. If all you want is comfort then you can't go far wrong with these shoes, but be aware it is at the expense of durability as the insoles do not come out easily. The Skechers Men's Equalizer 3.0 is all about comfort and on that score it is possibly the most comfortable walking shoe for men. Comfort is not everything and durability is the loser with memory foam. The foam gradually loses its spring and becomes flattened, but at least it is flattened to your foot shape. But the cushioning will be mostly a thing of the past, like a poor quality mattress or one you have used way too long. With removable insoles, you could swap them out for a bit more life, but not with these shoes. You do need to balance the poor durability against the cost of the shoe versus its competitors and on that score, it wins, which sort of balances the equation out somewhat in value for money terms. The uppers are a nice breathable mesh which will help keep your feet drier and cooler, but again durability is the issue. If you are prepared to replace the shoes in a year and can wrap your head around the fact they are about half the price of much better shoes then you are in a good position to make a decision. There is not very much in the way of support because memory foam is not supposed to be terribly supportive, but the shape of the midsole which is somewhat tougher does give some arch support. You cannot swap out for orthotics though and the shoe is not quite roomy enough to be able to have them layered on the memory foam insole provided. Aside from that issue, the shoes are quite roomy as they come with a good shape to provide a bit of space across the midfoot and the uppers are flexible to give some leeway too. With medium and extra wide fittings available and a good lacing arrangement, these shoes should be good to fit most users if they do not have extra high insteps.
A really comfortable lightweight shoe that will give you many miles of use, but does fall down on longer term durability which is offset by pricing at the low end of the scale. It is an excellent shoe for regular walking exercise that will not break the bank to buy. Next at number 2 we have Brooks Addiction Walker. A classic walking shoe from Brooks that has been at the top of the best sellers lists for motion control shoes for many years. The shoe is restrained in style and offers plenty of room for your feet with a good roomy toe box and space for custom orthotics thanks to its anatomically squarer shape which does not squeeze in across your midfoot. A great shoe for seniors as well as anyone needing a motion control shoe and the closest competitor to the New Balance 928 V3. Cushioning is well provided throughout the shoe with the ankles, Achilles and instep are all amply taken care of and underneath your foot, the insole and midsole work together to give excellent support as well as a degree of softness and spring. The shoe is intended squarely as a walking shoe with a diagonal progressive roll bar to provide the resistance to twist needed to control over pronation and with great shock absorbance to the heels particularly. Cushioning is definitely better than the 928 V3, but the suede uppers of the New Balance shoe just tips it for overall comfort. Nevertheless, it is still a good, comfortable shoe. An excellent range of sizes are available for this shoe which runs from narrow up to extra wide. Not quite as wide as the New Balance, but we are talking of fractions of an inch. Fit is very good though the width is slightly smaller across the midfoot so if you are deciding between two different widths then go for the wider one. Otherwise, the shoe runs pretty true to size. The excellent lacing opening makes the shoe suited to a wide range of instep heights which can be fitted very well thanks to lots of eyelets running from the bottom of the instep up to the top of the shoe. Support is excellent and better than the New Balance with plenty of room should you need even more support or arch support in a different position which can be accommodated by custom orthotics and still leave room for your feet without squashing. The Brooks Addiction Walker wins the category for the best walking shoe for seniors because of its better support and overall shape and better durability over the New Balance 928 V3, but it is a close call. Both shoes are excellent in their sizing range and particularly suited for wider or narrow feet. If you are an overpronator then the shoe is an excellent pick, but it's also great for you if you have flat feet. Normal gated people will also enjoy the shoe, but have the option of selecting a more cushioned shoe with even greater comfort, but lacking any stability enhancements. Finally the number one position is dominated by ASICS Gel Kayano 25. For fitness walkers and power walkers, the ASICS Gel Kayano 25 is a really great choice. The shoe has plenty of support for your feet and high levels of cushioning in a lightweight package which is more important for strenuous walking. An impact guidance system helps keep the gait straight and benefits mild overpronators, but is mild enough to be inconsequential to you if you have a normal gait. There is a bevy of features to provide you with great comfort and cushioning for your hard walking sessions. Excellent shock absorbance for your heels and forefoot help reduce jarring and distribute loading that can otherwise cause knee pain and pressure hot spots during a tough walk. The midsole foam is light but flexible with a slightly softer Spiva foam layer under the insole to provide even more cushion without losing the support you need. The breathable uppers are nicely flexible which is probably doubly good as the shoe last is a little skinny for some people and width fittings are not available. The removable ortholite insole is great for wicking away moisture and reducing odor at the same time providing good support and cushioning. If you don't have normal width feet then you may as well forget this shoe. That's a shame because it is a great shoe for intense walkers. Support is fine and the shoe can be well positioned thanks to the good heel counter, insole, and lacing system, so if you are a medium width fitting then you are in for a treat with the Gel Kayano 25. A really excellent shoe from ASICS that provides just about everything needed for you as a power walker. The gait alignment systems are mild and well suited to slight overpronators, but the lack of width fittings is a potential drawback for some. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.